Hello students. In this video, we will learn how can we write a Fortran program to find root of a polynomial using regular falsing method. So, in my previous video, we already discussed a program using bisection method. So, here also we start with the uh, statement function let it be fx. We uh, define some polynomial here x cube minus 2x minus 5 let this be the given polynomial and uh, we start by reading initial approximations and uh, here we make this program for fixed number of iterations so for that we read number of iterations for which we have to perform this and after that we write do 100 i from 1 to n and what we will perform here we write the formula for regular falsi method here and by that formula we have to write x0 into fx1 minus fx0 multiplied by x1 and the uh, whole of this divided by fx1 minus fx0 so i hope we have written this correctly and once we have x2 now we will decide where root lies now if x1 fx1 into fx2 less than 0 now as you see so we write then if fx1 fx2 less than 0 means root lies in x1 x2 so we will replace x0 by x2 and in else part root lies in x1 x0 and x2 then x1 will be replaced with x2 then and if and uh, we will write the label number continue and then after the process is over we will print the root as x2 read star stop and okay, let me save this and uh, then we will compile this and let us execute so as you see on your screen so we have to enter initial approximation and number of iterations let us see what will be the output so as you see on your screen output will be 2.09 45470 after 10 iterations okay let us see uh, how individual iterations are performed uh, before that we will uh, write here print statement to convert this program in a more presentable form enter values of initial approximations and uh, here we write so that we can easily understand what we are actually entering enter number of iterations so this will clearly mention what we are actually uh, doing and uh, let us uh, uh, add one more thing here after and if we will write print star comma iteration number i value of x2 will be x2 and here also we will add total 
number of total number iterations comma i final root is equal to x2 so as you see this will convert our program in, uh, in a presentable form let us try to see what changes we have made and uh, you see this will clearly uh, mention enter values of initial approximation they are 2 and 3 number of iterations let us again run this for n iterations and here you see on your screen you see we have performed n iteration number 1 this value iteration number 2 and here you see we have it when printed total number of iterations 11 why 11 was printed because here when we are here so when we come out of this loop when value of i will be 11 to make this correction we will print here i minus 1 so this will print the actual number then okay let us see this will uh, make the correction okay let me enter 2 and 3 10 you see now you see total number of iteration 10 and final root is this so we can increase this yes let us see what will happen if we perform same uh, for 15 iterations let me enter 15 so as you see after 15 iteration this will be the root I hope you will get an idea how can we write a program for regular falsy method okay let us add one more thing to this we will convert this program to a journal polynomial a b c and d so we are going to enter the values the uh, a is coefficient of x cube plus b into x square plus c into x plus d so this is a general polynomial so here we have to enter print star comma enter values of a b c and d and then we have to read those values a b c and d so once we have these values then we will uh, calculate the value of function let it be fx1 is equal to f here we write a b c d with x1 and similarly we will calculate value of function at x0 so we just copy it and replace this with 0 and here with 0 now instead of uh, calling function uh, we just write fx1 here and fx0 here similarly here we just write fx1 fx0 and here also fx1 and fx0 so just uh, remove this so this so once we calculate these values because when we write this this will call this function and value will be stored at fx1 and that will be used here and similarly when we write this f the value will be stored in fx0 and it will be used wherever we have written fx0 okay let me store this and let us compile this and see how it works and uh, when we run this so this will be the screen to so entering value of a b c and d 1 0 minus 2 and minus 5 let this be the equation and initial approximation 2 and 3 number of iterations 10 so as you see on your screen so we can we have made a general program that can be used to find the root of any cubic polynomial i hope you understand the process. Thank you very much.